let's hey spider cyber spider cyber oh, oh no no I'm gonna fall Well, that's not good. Oh, this doesn't have boost. That's some sort of saw. Ooh. Well, that's not what I wanted. More loot. More loot than I would ever know what to do with. And still we'll climb a tree. Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, I'm taking a look at Cyber Hunter. Uh, Cyber Hunter is a, a free-to-play battle royale game, much akin to like all the other battle royale games. Uh, I guess most notably Fortnite, uh, except without all that silly building stuff that gets in the way. Um, but what this game has instead is sort of a good freedom of movement and a little drone that sort of creates stuff for you. And I'll give you an example. And there's our drone. So regular stuff that the drone can do is help you glide from falling from various heights or just sort of to traverse the map a little bit more effectively, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, the shield, um, it deploys a shield when you're inside the storm and trying to get back to the safe zone, uh, just so you're not losing health immediately. Um, and then the droid will sort of act as your healing thing for you. And the good thing about healing is that you can sort of heal while moving. Uh, but then it has these skills. So one thing it sort of gives you right off the bat is like this shield wall where you can create your own shield. Or what I like is this and just make a bike for you. So if you are out of position and need to get somewhere quick, at least you have a way of doing that without having to find a vehicle. Um, and then as you level up your character, you get more abilities. Such as this. Uh, Droid provides fire support when you're using a rifle or SMG. Okay, so it'll just sort of attack with you. And just taking a look and see what else. The, the big level one here is uh, flight, so it launches you into the air, uh, so you can get uh, get a higher position real quick. Uh, so that's what the droid does. And you know, like I said, I kind of like how it's sort of been doing its stuff. What I'm also gonna do. It actually has a mode which is versus bots. Now, I know this isn't a popular mode for most people who play Battle Royale games, but I tend to like to just jump in and goof around and not really want to think too much as far as playing is concerned. And, you know, bot matches are sort of the sweet spot for me. It was a big thing when I was playing, like, Unreal Tournament and games like that. Uh, and while they do have, like bots to fill in the gaps for games like PUBG, um, this one sort of goes a little bit extra. I'll stick with the four man because I'm going to go solo, but it actually has difficulties for the bots and it, they unlock as you unlock more levels for your character. Um, so I'm interested to get into level 30 and see what the insane bots are like, but we'll go with standard. I just got level five last night so this is my first time actually trying with this level bots and we'll see what happens 
Uh, so like I said, your freedom of mobility, so you can climb on mostly anything. And then if you find yourself in a high position, there's your drone. It sort of allows you to have a soft landing. Play around with the bike. Same controls as I've been doing for PUBG, just sort of, and you can customize it in the menu. I'm just playing out in the lobby before we launch, so. That's cool. All right, I'll try this again. Last couple of recordings have not been in my favor. But you know the usual battle royale fare here. You're in a jump ship, you jump down to a spot on the island and you be, try to be the last one standing. Uh, the look and feel of this game seems very much like a Ghost in the Shell-ish type Battle Royale, which sort of suits me fine. I love Battle or, um, Ghost in the Shell. Just with the uh, cyborg aesthetics and that stuff. And you can also do uh, auto drop, so the game will just automatically drop you out of the plane as soon as you get close to your marked target on the map and take you in for you. We'll get close now. I'll turn it off because I want to try and get to the top of the structure here. Let's do that. And we'll hit this spot. Yeah, because it would just land me right on the blue mark. I want to go here. Thank you. And because I want to come up here, there's some chests that we can open and they'll have a bunch of good stuff, eh, except for the shotgun, but what can you do? Uh, we'll take a sentinel, that's what. Uh, oops, let's go to the front because we'll get another chest in here, as you'll soon see. Another couple of chests. Uh, but then, yeah, the drone just sort of makes it easy for you guys, for you to sort of Take an easy way down and not do a ton of fall damage. Uh, don't need to need a shotgun. They also have a roll if you want to do compact tactics. Just roll out of the way when being shot at. And grab the rifle. Ooh. Let's see what we can get rid of already. people about and they're probably behind the wall here. Keep the SMG for now because we're picking up lots of ammo for it. Get the rifle in case we need to switch out. So let's circle around and see who's in our area here. These guys. They're actually in the zone for once, so that's good to know. Usually, when doing mop matches, and I uh, ooh, <laughs> and I uh, land here, there's been lots of activity as far as people trying to come and ruin my day. And the normal bots have been hitting a little harder than the. Uh, than the regular ones. Ooh, drop right in front of us. So let's check that out once it lands. Ah, SMG core. So we'll stick with the SMG then. Uh, let's two times. So we got all the scopes. So that's looking pretty good. Yep, there's a drop. So what we'll do, oh, another chest. 
I don't know why my drone didn't deploy because I hit the button. Destroy our heavy railgun. Oof. Do I want to take that instead of the... Another chest right, oh, another two chests right behind us. We'll go for this drop first. Let me show you guys how. Because of course they'll have a bunch of equipment in the in the drops, including what may be. Oh, we just passed someone as well. Your wall is useless to me. It's a little rocket launcher there, but it. I got four left. So let's take the Urk shotgun. And we'll try it out against this person. All right. It's getting a little hairy here, so let's put up a wall and a healing pad. see what these guys have for us. We'll take a rifle just because we're out of the heavy ammo. And it's what it usually turns into is just me carrying a, a rifle and an SMG because there's plenty of plenty of ammo for it. Okay, so let's get back on our bike. I saw that the drop is over yonder, but I wanted to get back to the temple here and just sort of check out those chests in case there's anything that we should worry about here. Of course, we got our climbing ability, so we'll just make these grabs easy peasy. Keep the rifle core just in case, but all our heavy ammo will sort of leave for now. All right, looking good. And drop over here and grab this box. Uh, I already have the mag for this SMG, so that's fine. And yet another chest over here. Um, what? Get some more frags and All right, so just that way. Well, let's make a new bike and roll out. And there is a chest over here. Or a drop. A drop in a chest. It's in the water! 
Uh, and as much as I would want to go into the water for that, I think we're good with what we got. So let's just roll on past this dude and kill him. many people shooting at me already so I said pretty pretty active around here. <laughs> Still in the zone, but let's mark that crate and get on our bike and go someplace else. And some vehicles have some abilities like this nitros, Nitro Boost. Hello? Oh, oh, nope, nope. Too much, too fast, too going into the water. All right, well. Sure, when you use nitro, it's on dry land. So, no worries there. Just spawn another, and we'll just continue our quest for loot. You got some nice, easy, mellow driving music. Yeah. Got another vehicle here, so let's take it instead. I also have a boat, but I want to take the bridge. I want this nice, flashy sports car in my battle royale. Oh. Where? Where can I? Right. I have a feeling I bone that up. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. There we go. And the bridge, and let's... Now do some nitro to actually do us some good. good thing about driving is that trees aren't that much of a threat. Oh. Can I get out of the water? I can, but not underneath this dock. Alright, that could have been that could have been worse. Is there a crate outside of the zone now? Darn it. Alright, so what do we got? Let's go there then. I know the shield is decreasing. Calm yourself, I'm safe now. Uh, try 
trying to turn here. You're listening to the soft, mellow music of KY Battle Royale. There's the drop. And it's my drop. Adrenaline's always good. It sort of boosts up your speed pretty well. All right, so let's go. As far as much fun as the car was, I don't think we need it anymore. Oh, footsteps. Footsteps behind. Outside the zone, so let's let's unmark. Well, if they're just going to send another drop right where we were, so. There you are. And you got more footsteps on us, so... Yikes, yikes, yikes. And that will do it. Let's see what the results have to say. 16 kills, not bad, even if it is just against bots. Nice. So let me know what you guys think. Hit me a like in the comment section and uh, give it a try for yourself. I'll post links for the download page on both Google Play and I believe it's also available on the iTunes store. Uh, in any case, this has been Shin Virtuality. Uh, game on, have fun, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah!